So the media gets it wrong yet again. Just like how ABC News promised to give me credit for my video, and they didn't. Here again, we have incidents where a news story is being broadcast, and it's not necessarily accurate, the information that's being given out, because they're in a rush to get their ratings. So they don't care about um, how they may be giving out wrong information and things of that nature. So I've been looking at some stories. And by the way, this is the whole story about the bikers that got run over by the SUV, which I posted up recently. You guys probably saw it already. So anyway, I did some searches and looking at articles. This is one of the articles that came up. So let's set the record straight since the media is giving wrong information out there. Motorcycle gang chases and attacks SUV driver on the West Side Highway. First of all, this was in no way or form a gang. All right. So I don't know who's giving that information or who's saying it's a gang. All it was is a group ride. It's a bunch of motorcyclists that got together a lot of them are stunt riders and that's the idea it's a group ride there's no specific affiliation of all the riders as a matter of fact you may have multiple people that are in riding clubs some that are not um, you know you got independent riders there's all types and skin tones you got dark skin tone medium because somebody was saying that it's a bunch of black riders it's not a racial thing it's not a club thing it's not a gang thing it's just a motorcyclist thing now a lot of motorcyclists are against these kinds of rides so you know it's not that everybody who rides motorcycles are into these types of rides but the bottom line is the only common link is the love of motorcycles that's all it is if you're gonna call that a gang then so be it but it was absolutely not a gang let me see if there's anything else in this article will they gang chase SUV blah 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 unclear from the video oh I love this line so they were harassing the driver blah 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 before the seemingly frightened driver runs over a few bikers in an, in an escape attempt eh, yeah just a run over a few bikers yeah just a few bikers you might know, like uh, run over your kid's toy or something you know eh, whatever big deal yeah so before anyone says anything or jumps down my throat I definitely realize and you see my other video I posted up so I put my comments about it I realize this guy brake checking the SUV not too smart a lot of things that the bikers did not too smart and you know a, l a lot of huge problems with what was done on the biker side but also the SUV side as well. So it's it's again it's another two to tango. As far as who is more to blame, I leave that to you guys, but it's not that I'm covering up anything. I do acknowledge that both sides did uh wrong things here, but I just like the way they just worded that just kind of like, oh, I just ran over a few bikers, you know, it's not a big deal. So uh that's one uh let's see motorcycle run on Staten Island blah 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 this is not much stuff. Uh, let's see. Village Voice. I guess that's what we just read. <laughs> video showing. Video bikers attack Range Rover. Shocking video of Range Rover. And the other comments that are being made is that the, everything is being skewed towards uh, or against the riders of the motorcycles. Hey, look at this. It looks like this is the guy who was actually driving the car. Ale Alexian Leon drove through a swarm of motorcyclists in his SUV on a New York city highway apparently in fear for his safety okay this was bad this guy had his wife and his five-month-old baby in the car and to see how things went down I mean it's pretty bad now I realize again yeah, there's problems on both sides but I definitely would say the idea of assaulting you know the, the guy that uh, broke through the window and all this kind of stuff with the child in there I mean, this child could be traumatized for life, even if the guy is the biggest jerk-off ever. I mean, consider the child's life. She's just a child. She has nothing to do with what her father is doing. Wrong all right, but because of your anger and rage, and I know how testosterone gets, everybody's angry, and you're not really thinking straight, but that was really, really bad move on the part of the guy who did it, especially knowing that there's tons of guys with cameras filming this thing. So good luck to whoever it is that did that. Um, I don't ever condone violence. Violence is never the answer. However, if that is your route, at, at least at a minimum, and I, I wasn't there, so I don't know, don't do this kind of stuff in front of the kid. I mean, can you imagine how scared that, that, that little kid was in the car? So now imagine, as a fellow uh, uh, motorcycle enthusiast, if you're like me, now imagine this. This girl could potentially be traumatized by motorcycles for life. 
So whenever she sees a motorcycle, she could just get into panics and, you know, whatever. I mean, what you know, for a sport that we love so much, the idea of someone being traumatized by it, not good at all. And beyond the selfish, you know, worrying about, you know, our love, you know, our, we're into motorcycles, whatever. The child, I mean, having to go through that, I mean, that's just unthinkable. So I just wanted to set that straight. So these guys are not a gang. And one question I would like to leave you guys with before I end this video is what I really want to know. Everyone's talking about all kinds of different stuff for different angles and who's at fault and, and the guy was trying to run for his life or, or whatever, whatever. What I want to know is how does that SUV get or end up in the middle of all those bikes? And I said this before in the comments. Somebody made a comment saying, oh, uh, it's, it's, it's obvious that... I don't know what they some ridiculous explanation. You're watching Carlisle's picks. There's no other cars in this video for a very obvious reason. So how did this SUV get there? I mean, just to spell it out, because some people apparently they can't figure this this out. There's tons of bikers on the road. They're all over the highway. There's no way to fit between them. So if you're behind them, you're not getting in front of them. And it's so many of them. So even if there's a little gap or whatever, you're not going to make any headway. This, this SUV was close to the front. It would be very difficult, even on a bike, to cut through those riders. Because they're all over the place. They're, sometimes they're erratic and stuff like that. So how does an SUV get to the front? Clearly, the SUV didn't cut through the, all the bikers and got to the front. Making an assumption there. But I, I really put, put good money on that that's not what happened. So I'm going to think that somehow the SUV's interaction with the bikers started at the front. So that would mean you've got a whole bunch of riders riding on the highway. And this SUV is trying to get on the highway. Now, did they do something that people do to me all the time that I get very annoyed about where they jump in front of you? You know, they, oh, I'm going to, and they're going to, they kind of cut you off. And it is not really enough space and you got to jam on the brakes type of thing. Was that how this whole thing started? I don't know. I'm just speculating. So don't, don't go and say, I said, that's what happened. If you know how this thing started, definitely comment below and let me know. But I think it's very, very interesting to look at how this thing began. How did that SUV end up in, the, in, in, in those cars like that? Now, I do realize there's another way that this could have happened. There could have been traffic ahead, and it's kind of uh, this SUV being a quote-unquote straggler, so it was towards the back of the cars, and it started getting close to the bikers that was behind the SUV, and then bikers start cutting around the SUV, and next thing you know, the SUV is kind of in, in, you know, uh, buried amongst all these bikers. And then one thing leads to the next. But I don't know. I would like to know. And I think it's very important to know exactly how this started. So if you guys know and um, you have some comments about that, definitely comment below. And if you appreciate uh, my commentary on this situation and especially clarifying that there's no gangs involved. No gangs. It's just, just people on bikes. That's all it was. Breaking the laws. Irrelevant. Point is, no gangs. All right? Thank you for watching. You're watching Carlisle's Picks. Definitely subscribe, thumbs up, share the video. Wow.